We get a lot of questions here at Fishers Off-Road and a lot of the questions lately have been about trailering. I know we've got a lot of new people getting into the sport and we're just here to help them out and get those questions answered. So in this video, we're gonna cover some tips on trailering. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you're loading your trailer is follow the rule of thumb of 60-40. Now what do I mean by that? That means 60% of your load should be towards the front of your trailer, 40% of the load towards the rear. Now you'll notice this ATV is sitting kind of center right over the axle. It's not all the way to the front and it's not all the way to the rear. Now what's going to happen if we put this ATV all the way to the front? That's going to make your vehicle nose light. So the front of your truck is going to be real steering light and it's going to want to walk around on you and be real really light in the front end. Now if we take this ATV and we put it all the way in the rear, that's going to make it rear heavy on the trailer and that's actually going to make the rear end of the truck light. So the rear end of the truck is going to walk around on you. So you'll know when you hit that sweet spot of the 6040 where you have the weight on your trailer. Now I know it sounds kind of, you know, simple, but uh, just something as little as six, six inches or 12 inches can make a big difference on how that trailer is going to ride. Another thing you want to keep in mind when you're loading your trailer, whether it's something heavy like an ATV, a UTV, a tractor, side by side anything like that you'll want to keep an eye on your tongue because as you pull your load up your tongue is going to go down your hitch is going to go down so you're going to see the back of your truck dropping now a rule of thumb is on your tongue you don't want anything less than 10 percent or anything more than 15 percent on your gross trailer weight now you'll know what that is because if it's anything less or more than that your trailer is going to tow a little bit funky another thing you're going to want to keep an eye on is your uh, load must be center on your trailer. Say this ATV is sitting right in the center, it's not hard left, it's not hard right. If you do that, you're gonna notice a difference too. It's not gonna tow correct. So if you get your 60-40 online and you got your uh, load in the center, you got your tongue weight right, your truck and trailer are gonna tow in unison and it's gonna feel just right. Any one of those things that are off and it's not gonna feel right. Now here's a couple more quick tips for you. These are just bonuses for you if you're a newbie even if you're an experienced veteran trailer tower, it happens to the best of us. It's happened to me, and I know for sure it's happened to a couple of my friends, even though they don't like to admit it. First thing you got to do when you're hooking up your trailer is make sure you have the correct ball size. If you're running a two inch, make sure it's a two inch, not an inch and seven eighths, because when you're going down the road and you hit a bump, this tongue is gonna fly up off of that hitch and then you're gonna be in trouble. Another thing you'll wanna do is lock your coupler. You don't want this popping open while you're driving down the road. That can get really ugly really fast. I know a lot of guys will put pins in them. I like to put a lock in it because number one, it keeps it safe and secure. And number two, I know for a fact that coupler is not gonna come undone. Now this one here is one that you're gonna have to maybe practice or go over in your head a little bit. If you have a trailer that has trailer brakes and you're going down the road and you start to get that wobble in the rear end, that trailer sway, now, first of all, that kind of sends a little bit of panic in you. Now, I know you race makes your heart race kind of, you know, scares you a little bit. So what you want to do in that situation is you don't want to apply the brakes on the truck. You want to apply the brakes on your trailer actuator up on your dash. Let me show you what that looks like. So what you'll want to do is if your trailer starts to get that trailer sway in the rear end, this is your electric brake actuator that's in almost every vehicle that you're towing with. And if you don't have one of these, you're going to want to make sure you get one of these. All you have to do is if you see that trailer swaying in the back, take your brake actuator and start sliding it over because you want to apply brakes to the trailer. You don't necessarily want to apply brakes to the truck and the trailer because that's not going to do you any good. That's still going to keep that trailer swaying in the rear. Your goal is to get that trailer to stop, slow down, and quit swaying. If you have a trailer that doesn't have a brake actuator, the best thing you can do is just let off the gas and let that truck and trailer slow down and get it back in check. Because if you start accelerating or you start braking real hard, you can kind of mess things up and get yourself in a bad position. 
Well, there you go, guys. I hope these tips help you out and give you a stress-free towing experience. If you guys have any tips on towing, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we upload videos daily in the off-road world. Got any questions? Feel free to shoot us your questions and we'll get those videos out for you. I'll see you guys. Take care. Have a good one.